Good morning. Welcome to Boot 2020 here in Dusseldorf. We're on the Sunseeker stand today. My name's James Lumley. I look after Sunseeker Southampton and the Adriatic, part of the Sunseeker London Group. We have 41 offices in 20 countries. So we look after the majority of the Mediterranean, the Adriatic and Africa. Largest Sunseeker distributor in the world. And we're on the Sunseeker stand here. Final day of Dusseldorf boat show and the last yacht to cover in our series is the Majestic Sunseeker 86 yacht. Hugely, hugely popular boat for us. This has been uh, been in build since 2015. This is number 66 off the production line. Building around 12 yachts a year this size. Very much still the option for an owner operator or a commercial boat generally arranged with four cabins so eight guests four en suites and four crew just over 26 meters LOA weighing in impressive 67 tons standard engines are a 10v 16 22 horsepower MTU but typically fitted with the larger 12v 1950 horsepower MTUs Rolls-Royce parent company best of engineering really does get the boat up and going. 30 knots top speed, which on a yacht of this size is super impressive. Carrying 11,000 litres of fuel. The hull design actually was changed from the previous model to give a much flatter aft section, allowing a much more efficient uh, displacement speed, giving a much improved cruising range for those wanting to go further afield. So we still maintain our deep V forward to allow that high performance top speed but with the flatter aft section running at slow speed if you take it back to nine and a half knots we're burning a measly 62 litres an hour that gives us a theoretical range of around 1500 nautical miles which for an 86 foot performance motor yacht is very much a class leader you see these signature glass windows running all the way down the hull lots of natural light down below decks the option here on the starboard bulwark drop out balcony <laughs> standard platform take 500 kilos capacity we can upgrade this to 800 kilos which will take up to then a 5.6 meter rib Standard will take a 4.6. Dual access from either side. We'll head up forward and do the fore deck first. This particular owner has selected teak on the side decks. You notice these beautiful raised bulwarks with the stainless steel rails on top. Real large yacht feel. And what is still very much an owner operator size, I say falling well within the 24 meter load line limit, regulations for crewing and what have you does make this very much an owner operator solution. Twin anchors here as an option fitted to nearly all the all the production these days on this size. Beautiful teak decks. So we have this center line sun pad private seating area behind it's giving somewhere private to come and sit in port away from the bustle of the quayside behind here's the balcony Great space for dining here in the aft cockpit, protected from the sun by this flybridge overhang. Of course, you can enclose this if you want to use the boat out of season. So, starboard side, we have a small, small sink. We can put some basic refrigeration there underneath. And of course, over on the port side. 
offered the option to put a third station helm control in here with throttles and thrusters. Though many owners switching these days to a full remote control system. These lovely curved patio doors, real feeling of quality. Everything's on one level through here. Of course, each of our yachts is built bespoke to an owner's needs or the occasional stock boat where we tend to match the market trends. So this yacht's finished in a very much a classic black American walnut with a satin finish. We can do something a lot more contemporary with a light silver oak or contrasting light and dark wood with a Venge and silver oak. Very much moving into our semi-custom yachts at this size, so a case of getting the Sunseeker interior designers on board to understand what it is you want to do and so I'm trying to create that for you as an end result. So aft end of the, the main deck here is of course the saloon. We can do returns on these sofas to give a little bit more seating. Various options with the AV, we can put it in on the, the starboard side behind the sofa with a high-low mechanism. This owner's gone for a PV up on the bulkhead there. We do occasionally see between the seating here and the dining forward a box to break up the two areas. Again, a high-low mechanism. Lovely dining table. This particular one's inlaid with a piece of stone in the middle there. All been in-house in the factory, so very much a case of creating this to suit your own taste. Of course, full crockery, glasses, storage, wine cooler, etc. on the port side. Moving forward into the galley. So the boat can either operate as a commercial yacht with um, with a chef on board or an owner operator. Dual function in here. So we have a shutter that comes out of the ceiling here to close off this bar. And then with a door forward. And of course the door here behind us. We can close this then into a contained galley if you've got professional chef on board with full cooking facilities, microwave, oven, electric, hob top there, dishwasher and what have you. Lots of options in here. We've put larger ovens in. We played around with moving the, the shutter system for an owner operator who wanted to make this a real focal point of the boat. Then we move forward into the, the lower bridge. So we've got the seating area opposite the helm. So we're nice to enjoy the captain's company or the crew to congregate when they've got guests on board. And the main lower helm here, 19 inch Hatalan displays. So you've got two, two navigation displays and Suntika CM8 system. Just demonstrate a few features. It's full monitoring of things like your, your electrics. We've got navigation light controls and pumps, tanks, technical drawings, etc. with monitoring stations around the boat. Slight no hydraulic fin stabilization. Very best zero speed system working at anchor and also when underway. Of course, proportional full hydraulic thrusters. The boat is very, very maneuverable. Very much confidence inspiring if you're into, into driving your own boats. It is honestly on something this size still very much an option. You see this bar arrangement here with the stools and the shutter so we can we can play around with this layout to suit each owner. There's two stairwells down to the guest accommodation. So we go forward first and this is into a, a VIP guest cabin where you can see center line double. Very private this cabin. Of course, own walk-in wardrobe, dressing table there. And a good sized bathroom suite. Of course, room to put a bidet in there. work aft. We'll go down the midship stairs where we've got three further cabins.
So we'll start off here in the master. Center line double. Lovely dressing table here on the starboard side. Of course a large walk-in wardrobe. Good size shower, etc. The twin guest cabins here midships. Variety of configurations. So we've got two single beds which slide together to make a double. The option to add a drop down Pullman bed in the wall there. So you can take it up from eight to ten on board. If you're running as a charter yacht, just gives a little bit more versatility for extra kids and what have you. So still lovely, lovely heads compartments. These are mirror image cabins, so we've got you see the twin beds both sides. We've played around with the layouts in here so we can turn these beds around 90 degrees and turn them into fixed doubles depending on what an owner's requirements are. It's a quite a versatile space. We head back up, we'll take a look at the flybridge. So immediately obvious on the port side here, we've got this great size wet bar. Obviously straight at the top of the stairs, which means access for crew. Full facilities, easy to, to bring food up from downstairs. Mirror image of downstairs, we've got all the same information, navigation systems, etc falling to hand and sat here at the helm you can see still great visibility all around and as an owner operator really you can see the, the visibility still from the helm very much allows you to run the boat without the need for full complement of crew look up forward see just how much space the yacht offers of course we have a, a full carbon fiber hardtop above us here with an opening center section using carbon fiber as it's a lot more stable in the heat and also a lot lighter so we're looking a thousand kilos in GRP or 400 kilos in carbon so very much keeping the weight down to an acceptable minimum. Also this electric sun blind on the aft end for warmer climates. Seating is modular so we can play around with each individual yacht's configuration. We've got of course dining here on the starboard. This owner's opted for a sun pad. We can remove this and add a jacuzzi or a flybridge crane and two Sea-Doo sparks up here. Removable rails on the aft end then to facilitate launch and recover. We'll head on down, take a look in the crew and the machinery. So centre line access off the bathing platform. Crew very much private down here away from the other end guests. It's a practical living area down here. Imagine four people using this as their day-to-day -day facilities. We've got basic 
basic galley prep and of course a, a small bathroom and on the port side we have two twin bunk cabins laundry facilities here in the middle as we pair the twin beds again layout wise we can move bulkheads around to allow various configurations we've done one of these yachts with a, a master spare master double bed down here so a separate suite if you like still allowing us to convert the boat back into a, a commercial boat in the future if a second owner wanted to make it into a full charter yacht so looking in the engine room say the larger 1950 horsepower 12V MTU engine, it's a 2000 series engine. Generators outboard. Have to excuse the mess in here, lots of storage from the uh, from the boat show. But very practical, you can see hydraulic systems and power packs, various electronic systems, everything's falling to hand so whether you're a captain, maintenance engineer or using a professional outfit to come on board for the maintenance everything is very accessible. So the water maker up there on the on the cradle we can put another cradle in here above the, the starboard engine to give extra storage for parasols and water sports equipment suspect has seen here we're looking around 5.6 million pounds, excluding tax. It's a good, it's a good spec. This boat, really, not much, not much to add to give you a realistic price on the water. Always generally availability for a season on something like this. So. If you're interested to get on the water for 2020, please get in touch. We can tell you a little bit more about what the options are, what changes we could make to suit your own needs. So my name's James Lumley from Sunseeker Southampton. My mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven. Or you can email me at james at sunseekersouthampton.com course where we can then send you full pricing, factory options and the latest availability. Hope you've enjoyed the tour today and we look forward to hearing from you.